Right. First female local TV news anchor in the country. Possibly including Mars. <laughs> you want to hear the statement that she made last night? Well, we're going to talk to her. That's even better. In a second. I think she's on the phone with Eric right now. Uh, Did he call and wake her up? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering why we have her this early. Luci- Luciana has been bugging her since yesterday, and Aww. she's so grateful just to talk to us right now. Jean should not be like up this early talking to us, but here she is. Jean Anderson, good morning. Good morning. Well, the sun is up, so I'm up. That's kind of how it is in the summertime. Yeah, and you better get get the sun because it's going to be gone by noon. Oh, really? Haven't heard the forecast. Yeah, haven't you tuned I, into, yeah. haven't tuned into Jeff Renner yet. All right. Well, good morning, and uh, what a shocker your announcement yesterday. Uh, I thought you were going for another fifty years. <laughs> well, I'm I'm leaving the anchor desk, but I'm not leaving King. I'm going to focus on HealthLink, which. I think people know, uh, you guys sure know, because we've had a little push-up contest occasionally. That's right. Uh, to focus on health, mine and my family's and the communities, I, and I really like the big franchise we built at King, HealthLink. And to do specials and elections and uh, King's booming social media, these are some of the things I want to focus on. But part of it is also a little bit more flexibility in my schedule. We have a big family that's growing. I have one daughter who's having a baby in a couple of weeks, and another one who's having a baby in a couple of months, wow. and another daughter who's getting married. So there are really a lot of uh, big, wonderful things happening. Um, but I love the team at King. I don't want to leave the team at King or our viewers and your listeners, um, but I do want a little more flexibility. And a little more time for your family and grandchildren and all those things. Very exciting. I'm, yeah. I'm really, really thrilled. And let's face it, you're a quitter. Here it is. 40 years, <laughs> you're just a quitter. 46. Yeah, 46. 40 yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I just feel really, really lucky. I feel lucky to be able to work in my own hometown. I feel lucky to have the support of a lot of people in the community, and I, I count you guys as our big supporters. It's just so much fun to talk well, to you on the radio. And to, thank you. And, and, and Jean, with, uh, with the last time you were here, we did have a little push-up contest. And what struck me was your energy. What struck me was not just the fact that you're able to stay in shape. Uh, I'm not going to say your age, but they did say it in the paper. What, what struck me, and not just that, because that's an accomplishment for anybody, especially living a hectic news person schedule, because that doesn't lend itself to good eating and good health habits. But it was your it was your energy. It was your zest for life. And here you are uh, to say hi to us at six eleven in the morning mm-hmm. on a well, day on a day that like you might I would be. Well, if, if in a different life, I would be hung over this life. I wouldn't be. But still, mm-hmm. it's amazing. Uh, where do you get your zest? Um, I love being up in the morning when the sun comes up and I'm happy for the spring and summer when the sun comes up a lot earlier and stays up a lot later. I don't know. I just think we're really lucky. I have an older brother and a younger sister, and we're kind of stretched out across the country. And we talked to each other yesterday. I talked to uh, my sister, uh, and she was on her way to the gym, and my brother, and he was on his way to swim in the ocean in Florida. And I think it's just we're blessed. My dad was a really, really great athlete. He was a professional football player for a couple of years, and he encouraged us not to work out, but just to play. I mean, being physical and being athletic was our form of family fun. Mm. And I just think we're really lucky to have grown up that way, to have a lot of things that we enjoy doing outside, and being physical is is part of that. uh, I I guess we're just lucky. All right, so I'm going to be a reporter for a second. Was this a sudden decision? Has this been coming on for a long time? When did you tell King? When did Mm -hmm. Or did they tell you? And uh, did anybody try to talk you out of it? And stuff like that. It was really sweet. My boss cried when I told him what I wanted to do. Um, I've been thinking about it for a long time. I mean, 46 years is a long time, and there's really no good time to leave. But I thought um, the team at King is really strong right now. Um, The programs that I I anchor are number one. All of our programs across the board are top-rated programs. And maybe that's a good time to leave when everybody's doing a really, really good job and just to step back and and um, let it be. And I don't know, I guess 
a lady knows when to leave the party. So. Oh, you go. That's <laughs> that's beautiful. You've been uh, you've been running teasers, Gene, on King now for a, a week or so. I've been noticing them coming soon, a new look. And I, I was a little startled when I heard that, but then I was relieved to see you in the promos. Uh, and I, I thought, oh well, that's that's good. That doesn't mean Gene is uh, is stepping aside, but but you are. So now, can you tell us uh, what maybe a little bit about what this new look is going to be for King Five News? Oh my gosh, you're really clever. I think that um, we did that promo because there is a change coming that I don't think I'm at liberty to talk about, but it's coming, I believe, on Monday, mm-hmm. and it's not about me. You're so leaving Friday, it's, and it's coming Monday, but it's, it's not, not about, about you. you. <laughs> well, Very no, humble. It's um, you guys. You guys picked up on it. <laughs> well, we're in the tease uh, business. Yes. Yeah, we're in the tease business. There is a change coming on Monday, and when we shot that, the people. Um, well, what can I say? Oh gosh. You guys are really smart. That's what I can say. All right. So we'll, we'll have to really, watch really, Monday. Really smart. I don't want to get you in any trouble because, after all, they might fire you. No. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Uh, there's another th- another question. Spike is a little embarrassed, a little shy to ask. But is there a black and white coffee table book of all your black and white photos uh, that's going to be issued sometime soon? Because he says he can't believe you're like the, the going through the past looking at your pictures the, the good folks at King Five's website I should put, uh, give them credit it's they the photo posted, gallery yeah yeah they posted some photos of you both uh, on at the desk and in the community uh, that are just I mean you're stunning stunning there's one oh, in particular you. that's a beautiful black and white and I'm wondering if it's your college yearbook shot or is it a King Five headshot 1971 you're talking about yeah you know you guys are not only smart to pick up on that change that's coming on Monday, but you're really smart to see this, whatever it is that you're referring to that I haven't seen yet. No, there's not going to be a coffee table book unless you guys publish it. Okay, we we'll might do that. And then we'll be sued, which will be good publicity for us. That's how we get publicity. <laughs> You're wearing yeah, kind of an open yeah. collared shirt with a light sweater yeah. over it, a beautiful thin <laughs> gold necklace. All right, that's hey, enough. That's open. enough. I'm sorry. All right. So, uh, but anyway, the ret- retrospective is fun, folks. You can see it. Uh, actually, it's linked on the story at seattletimes.com. Gene, uh, this is exciting, but uh, also I'm really glad to hear that HealthLink is going to c- continue. Uh, that's um, that's become a brand for all of us keeping track of the increase in knowledge and 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 it's a it's an educational tool for people to learn how to take care of themselves better. What's the most exciting health link story uh, bubbling under right now? Uh, we're working on what's probably going to be a series in a couple of weeks. Um, let's see if I I'm not sure that I can talk about it. Oh, but good. It's, it's pediatric, and um, I, I think that there's a glitch in um, medical coverage right now that we're going to focus on where kids coverage is really really lacking and um that's that's what we're working on right now you are uh uh, you are the first and longest standing local female anchor in the united states of america that's historical uh do you know who number two is do i know what do do you know who number two is like who's the second i really don't and is she is she gunning for you now that you're actually stepping aside? <laughs> oh, you mean number two, who who is going to replace me at the anchor desk? No, but who although that's an, longest standing. That's another that's another question. Yeah, you are the longest standing, and and King is very proud of that, as as we are here in Seattle, where you know we're uh, a very progressive uh, city. Um, and I don't mean that about number two. I'm sure you don't even know who she is, but but that's a big accomplishment. Does that? Is, is that one of the biggest accomplishments to you, or is that just a footnote to you? Uh, I guess I don't think about it. You know, do people go through their job? And, well, maybe they do and think about, I've been at this for X years, X months, X days, X hours, mm. only if they're miserable in their job. And I just, I really never kind of counted the years. I never would have imagined it would last this long. I just thought somebody would fire me long before this. Mm-hmm. And in um, entertainment and in the, in, the, in the news business and all of that. Yeah, I mean, I remember arriving in Seattle in 1989. You were the first face I saw on television. Mm-hmm. And I thought, wow. Uh, and and this, is no, this is no stroke. I thought, wow, they have good, uh, you know, because I, I, I lived on the East Coast, had New York, Boston, big, big markets. And I thought mm-hmm. the coverage and the writing in Seattle was superior to some of what I'd seen in New York, and oh, and that 
That was my first uh, impression of this market, and that was 1989. I think it's true. I think that the the stations here are all excellent, and I think the coverage that our community gets is really, really excellent. And uh, I think if you watch television in, in New York or L.A., and then come back here. People do comment about that, and they say that we're pretty well served uh, by the television media in this in this community. Of course, television's changing, and a lot of our uh, viewers are morphing over to viewing on their mobile devices. Or, you know, I think that the habits are changing, and people don't necessarily sit there at five o'clock and wait for the news to come on. They go get their news on their phone. Uh, while they're doing something else, right, and, and it's and much of it is on demand now. You can just push. You can, can we get HealthLink anytime, twenty four yep. hours a day? Yep, Kingfive dot com. I saw my wife watching on her iPad the other day, and I was surprised. Uh, but uh, that's the way people are using it. Uh, Jean Anderson, uh, an anchor era comes to an end, but she will continue at King Five with HealthLink and other shows. And Jean, uh, good morning. Enjoy the sunshine while it lasts today. And be well. All the best to you. Thank you so much, and thanks for letting me join you this morning on the Bob River Show. You guys are my great pals, and I really, really appreciate it. And totally our pleasure. Please come by and do push-ups with me anytime, Gene. It's very inspirational every time you stop by. Well, I will come by, and we'll have more fun sometime soon. Thank you. All right. Take care. Gene Anderson, folks. Look at her.